Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live at the Open Networking Summit. ONS 2014 is the hashtag. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon, and I'm joined with my co-host, Stu Miniman, Chief Analyst at Wikibon.org. Dave Vellante's in the house, checking out some things, doing some research, talking to the customers, talking to the vendors. This is an interesting show. We're going to wrap up here, day one segment, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We've had all the big players in networking on theCUBE all the most important guests, entrepreneurs, uh, big, big CEOs, companies, uh, Stu, big, big change here, future networking. You hear cloud first, not mobile first, cloud first of the show. Really a changing of the guard in the networking layer. You're seeing about the lunar destination being SaaS, integrating and making it programmable, the programmable interfaces. Basically it's DevOps meets software defined data center meets networking, under change, massive transformation. It's the future of networking. It's at the infancy of a revolution. What's your take? Yeah, yeah, John, I think change is the word that I come out uh, from this show. Um, obviously, open source is a huge catalyst for what's going on here. Um, but you know, when, when I think back to my career and how I've watched networking, usually I measure it in decades. I mean, you know, go through the standards work, you get the piece done, slowly adoption happens, and you look at how long it actually took from the idea to come up through, you know, a lot of people using it, and it takes you know ten years or more for it to happen. Uh, we really see some of these cycles compressing. Um, you know, this is the third year of this show. Um, it has changed dramatically. You know, last year we talked a lot about OpenFlow. This year it's more you know uh, Open Daylight and Cloud and OpenStack. Uh, you know, NFV uh, is, is making an appearance here. Uh, you know, by next year, you know, maturity will be even more. And you know, we, we think that within two or three years, we're going to see significant changes in some of the landscape and significant significant shifts in you know where dollars are going. And I think one of the things I'm seeing Stu is this programmatic interface. It's not just about APIs as a punchline. Composition of applications and services, the service cataloging business is here. Provisioning dynamically, agile, in the cloud. Really the networking is getting their act together to innovate for dynamic provisioning, push button provisioning, where the users now are developers. This is DevOps, so DevOps is directly in a collision course with networking. You're seeing virtualization open up a, a range of creativity. We had Martin Casada on from VMware, former CEO, founder of Nasira, talking about how awesome this opportunity is. We had Dave, the CTO, Chief Bucket from Cisco on, talking about unparalleled change at the edge of the network, identity systems, security, Internet of Things is certainly going to change the dynamics. We even have got some big data in here. It's a, it's the confluence of all the trends we're covering here on theCUBE and all the shows we've gone to, more of the same. I want business value, I want dynamic networks. The networks have to be more responsive, faster, horizontal, vertical, IT as a service. Pick your approach. IT is the center of the value proposition, and this is where it's going. Stu, what's your take on, on that? And two, where's OpenFlow? Where all, where's all, the, where's all the, the, those futures? Yeah, uh, you know, one of the things, you know, we heard you know, Cisco talk on here and say, uh, you know, most of these projects aren't really done. Um, and one of the you know, questions you know, I have coming out of this is, you know, is an open source project ever done? Uh, it, it's kind of gradual maturity, and the thing that worries me about that is you know, customers buy their network based on fear. It is great if you can save the company money, but if the network goes down, you're out of a job. So you, know, you definitely need to make sure that it's rock solid. Um, and the counter to that is you know, the big companies that build their business around the network, you know, companies like NTT, companies like AT&T, companies like Google, um, you know, have figured this out, are working with these new technologies, and that definitely is going to move down markets. So you said you know, cloud first, absolutely, uh, is you know, leading this trend, and you know, they, people need to either get on board with the cloud guys or find some way to be able to come be competitive with them. Just some notable points I'd like to share the post in my analysis of the show is, uh, obviously under the hood is key. Um, the demand is, is very consistent with the cloud market and networking. 
that under the hood ability for folks to look under the hood and match composite services and programmatically take a piece of this, put it with that vendor, open source is a key part of that, check the box there, again, that's consistent. Um, the ops revolution, I think that was an interesting note from Cisco, that the real revolution here is around operations. This is a once in a decade kind of thing, once in a, a century maybe you might want to say. Um, the other thing is the devices. Internet of Things, Internet of Everything, which is a Cisco message, but Internet of Things brings the device centric and changes the definition of the edge of the network, where identity of the person is not tied to a device, that opens up the security conversation, a whole bunch of other things, and all the stuff wrapped around that. And finally, what I found really interesting was Cisco. Really talking about a developer community outside of Cisco. And that's something that they haven't launched yet. They're in beta, they're talking to some folks. But it'll be interesting to see that because I think that's a new concept. We heard from IBM last week at IBM Pulse. They're trying to reach the born on the web developers for their cloud, Blue Mix. Cisco obviously seeing that they have to move up the stack. That's big. And I think that those are big, big highlights. Yeah, on, the yeah. vendor, on the vendor side though, the absence of Juniper is clear, HP is mute, and those are surprises to me actually. Yeah, uh, and John, just build off what you were talking about from the developers. Uh, to be honest, you know, when I became an analyst four years ago, core networking was really boring. It was just dominated by a single vendor. There wasn't a lot going on. I, I've heard from, uh, we heard from actually uh, a couple of guys that work at Red Hat today, and they, they had almost thought about leaving networking because you know, four years ago, it, it was getting kind of dull in the marketplace. And today, you know, there's exciting places. If you want to be a coder, there's lots of places you can get involved. The development community, there's exciting things going on. Um, you know, there, there's lots of new job opportunities to really add value to your business and to move networking forward. So, you know, lots of good career opportunities, which is good to see. Of course, automation is going to put pressure on some of those jobs. So, if you can't take advantage of those changes, uh, you might be out of a job in a couple of years. Yeah, and collaboration and orchestration, obviously key message we've, that we're hearing repeating over and over again, those are table stakes. Obviously scale, on the hyperscale side was another thing that was mentioned. Hyperscale's coming into the enterprise, that's a key message we're hearing. We heard that from Brocade's uh, chief scientist. Just overall, I'm excited, Stu, to see movement, real positive progress, moving from vapor, hype, to reality. Again, it's a step in front of a step, first down in 10, move the chains, whatever analogy you want to use, the industry is moving. I think it is a call to action for the industry to say, hey, we better get our act together, the power of the cloud, cloud scaling, the cloud is scaling, apps are scaling, diversity of applications. So great show, I think that you know, the data center networking platform concept is here. I think software-defined data center, it will be a reality. The question is, which approach will it take? What version of open source? which mix of open programmatical APIs for composition, as Martin was talking about as well as Cisco. So to me, I think that's my take. Uh, great to see the action. Also great to have a new uh, co-host on here, Scott Rainovich, uh, working with us on the networking side. Great to see Scott uh, join the team relative to SiliconANGLE and theCUBE, and Yvonne, just to kind of join the team to help bring a different critical analysis and uh, analyst perspective, so fantastic show so far. Yeah, yeah, John, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's the community, uh, which I've gotten so much feedback, a lot of the people online, you know, we think, you know, as always, the audience that's watching, there's the developer community, the networking community is a real tight one, and, uh, you know, great to see, you know, some of these the tech athletes that we've brought on over the years to help really, uh, you know, you know, show the history as it's happening throughout all of these shows. It's been exciting through, you know, VMworld and Amazon and OpenStack and, uh, you know, some, some of the big shows we've got coming up this year. And theCUBE is here on the ground covering. We heard from the CEO, Kelly uh, Wanzer, say, it's a great time to be a startup in networking. We know Peter Levine's here from Andreessen Horowitz. He's from the Cumulus Networks. The VCs are out there right now talking to folks. Um, great movement, great innovation. There's some oxygen in the room, feeding the flames of innovation. Here inside Open Network Center, this is theCUBE. Uh, great shout out to the team, great thanks for the crew here, Stu, good job. Dave's here, Scott Rennemus is here. Great show, any final words? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, just, just looking at, you know, where this is going forward, John, I think you said this is, you know, part of our cloud coverage, you know, networking is moving outside of the silo, which really, you know, bleeding into more of the, the systems and the cloud, so excited to see where a lot of these people show up uh, at, you know, OpenStack, and, you know, this is probably the best SDN show, so excited we're here, we uh, talked about, uh, you know, how uh, some of the other you know shows in networking have been on the decline, but you know, big thank from my standpoint to the 
uh, you know, the ONS folks for bringing us in, Cisco for being a sponsor, and yeah. uh, John, always a pleasure to do the show with you. Yeah, Open Networking Summit, really getting its legs here at Sea Legs, really relevant show. This is going to be a big show going forward. I want to thank Cisco for being an underwriting sponsor to bring the Cube here. The Cube and its independent analysis, commentary, opening up the microphone for the tech athletes to share their information. Of course, for us to break down the analysis, uh, best event coverage as, as has been coined on the, on the web. Stu, thanks to you guys at Wikibon and SiliconANGLE. If you want to catch these videos, go to youtube.com slash SiliconANGLE and go to our new Cube site at siliconangle.tv. Got a new player there, we're breaking down the, the videos for you. And of course, follow us on Twitter, at SiliconANGLE, at Wikibon, I'm at Furrier, and he's at Stu. This is theCUBE wrapping up from ONS 2014, Open Networking Summit 2014. This is a wrap, and we'll see you at our next show. We've got Amazon coming up, we've got OpenStack on the horizon, at IBM Impact, a variety of more and more shows. A lot of stuff coming for the year. Thanks for watching theCUBE, and that's it, live here in Silicon Valley for Open Networking Summit 2014. I'm John Furrier with Stu Miniman and Dave Vellante and Scott Rainovich. Thanks for watching. <laughs>